Hey, Mark Rice here. Today I will show you how to create this beautiful animation. It's very effective and simple to create. So let's start. Before we start with the animation, I want to show you how I built this illustration. I created five layers. White background with the beautiful noise effect, the portrait, the black background where the overlap is played, the school portrait and the noise glow effect. The crucial part is perfectly overlapping of the portrait. So, for the black part of the school portrait, I use the shape of the man below. The eyes, nose and teeth are in the same position for the both portraits. And that's it. Now we can jump into After Effects. We are in After Effects now. I already imported the illustration. The tutorial is easy, but it will be cool if you have some basic knowledge about the software. If you missed that part, check out the Buildings tutorial. There you will learn all you need to know for a good start. I used the gigantic brushes for the illustration and you will need a machine with a big power to run that. But you can download the illustration without brushes, so don't worry. Ok, cool. The engine of the animation is CC Bandit effect. So first I will separate the main to show you the effect. Select the layer, click with the right mouse button on it, go to effect, distort and here you will find the CC Bandit effect. As you can see I got these two points. This one I will move to the bottom of the illustration. And the second one a little above the illustration. After that I can change the value of the band in effects control. The effect works fine except for one detail. It cuts the illustration. As you can see the black part is the composition space of the illustration, is the size of the layer and the band effect works inside it, so I need to increase that area. I will delete the effect for now and fix that part. It's very simple. First I need to create pre-composition from the layer. Hit with the right mouse button on the layer and select pre-composition. Ok, now I created the composition from the layer. Double click on it and here I can increase the space around the man. Hit Ctrl plus K keyboard commands and change the width and height of the composition. Ok, now will be fine when I add CC Bandit effect. But before that, I will do the same with the second phase. In the end the animation will be the same for both portraits. So I will create a pre-composition and change the size of the composition. One more thing before we start with the animation. We will rotate the faces, so we need to move the anchor point to the bottom. I will do this with another portrait as well. Ok, that's it. It's time for the central part of the tutorial. I will add the CC Bandit effect. Now I will go into Portrait Layer, Effects, Bend it and create the first keyframe. It will be 20. On the 10th frame I will create one more keyframe, minus 20. <laughs> Beautiful. I will add the rotation as well. Go to Transform and create the keyframe on the first frame. It will be 7. Jump to the 10th frame and add the new keyframe, minus 7. I got this space at the bottom, but I will fix it at the end. It's time for the loop. Hold Alt keyboard button, click the stopwatch icon in band and type the expression code. Loop, out, ping pong. Ok, I need to copy the expressions code into rotation settings as well. So select the band, click with the right mouse button and copy expressions only. Select the rotation, use Ctrl plus V keyboard commands. It's too fast, so I want to add a slow beginning and start with keyframes. Here will be 22 and rotation will be 8. On the opposite side add minus and the same numbers. Minus 22 and minus 8.
Okay, great. I will select all layers and that easy is or hit F9 keyboard command. Beautiful. I need to do the same with these guys as well. So I will add the CC bandit, move the points and I will copy keyframes for the first portrait. Use Ctrl plus C for copy and Ctrl plus V for paste. Whoa! Give me my other layers, it's time to finish the animation. This man is cool and I will not touch anything. But here I need to cut the left part of the school portrait. I will copy the black background and use it as a mask. Move the mask above the school layer. Select the school layer and here choose Alpha Matte Mask. That's it! Now I can fix this part of the animation. I will select all layers and create pre-composition. I can increase the size a bit and that's it! As you can see it's easy and you can use these skills for various types of animations. I'm preparing more good stuff, so stay tuned, peace.